Hey, what's up? This is Josh from Espen, and today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to assemble your Espen electric bike in less than 15 minutes. So just follow along, and we'll get you riding in no time. Now today we're going to be working on the Espen Flow, but these assembly instructions can work for either the Sport or the Flow. So let's get started. Um, for simplicity's sake and for time management, I've already removed all the packaging that you would find once you open the, once you remove the bike from the box. So I've taken all the contents out, removed all the packaging and fastening devices, and laid them out on the floor for you. So first thing we want to do is make sure you have all the parts that comes in the box. You're going to want to locate the keys, the pedals, the left and right pedals, and they're marked L and R, L for left. R is the right, L is the left. The seat will be separate. And you have a box here with the, the charger and bag, which I'll get to later. Put this to the side. The front wheel and the quick release pin will be in a separate box. You're going to want to locate that. And most importantly, your S Bin multifunction tool. You're going to be able to do all the assembly instructions with this tool that we provide for you. So let's get started. You're going to want to locate your multi-tool kit and just get rid of this plastic piece that we have securing the, fat, the suspension forks. So take the kit, the cool tool, knock off the plastic piece easily, and you put it to the side. Now we're going to install the and mount the front wheel. You're going to want to make sure that the, the, the front disc brake is lined up on, along with the rear disc brake, so it will be on the left side of the bike. Now when you install the front wheel, you're going to want to Align it on, on the front axle, but you want to make sure that the, the disc brake is aligned inside the, the rotors of the brake. So it just takes a couple seconds to get the alignment right. Once you have it aligned, there you go. You can have it set down. Now you can take your quick release pin. Make sure that the springs are inward facing. You want to open up the quick release pin, take off this one of the springs with the top, and you can stick the pin right through the axle. There's a hole right here. Stick that pin right through. So you're going to want to tighten up the quick release all the way up until it's nice and tight. You don't want it too tight so that the wheel is too tight that it can't move, but you want to tighten it up. And then, once you're ready, you tighten it up. Now we're going to put on the front headlights. For this, you're going to locate your multi-function tool. You're going to locate the 5mm Allen wrench key. And on the back side here, we've had these uh, sprocket wrenches. You're going to locate the 10mm sprocket wrench in the back. So for this, first you're going to want to put the headlight on to the location here, on the, on the bolt. It's a little tricky, you have to put this on, you want to make sure that it's behind the washer. You stick it on, make sure it's behind the washer, then you put it up like this. You can let it dangle on the side first, but you want then you want to take the Allen wrench and your sprocket and then tie, use the sprocket to hold it from the back because the the bolt will the nut will still be turning. And then you want to just tighten it up using the five millimeter Allen wrench key. Once it's secure, you can put the headlight up to make sure it's in the right position and then continue tightening it until it's secured in place. There you go. Put the socket wrench back. Next, we're going to put the handlebar on. So all the wirings are already in place. You just need to make sure that it's in the right position. So you will locate this Use the 4 millimeter Allen wrench key. So 
to undo these. Put the, the handlebar right in the right direction. So you'll see here, make sure that the handlebars are facing the rider and the screen is facing the rider. Then you want to put the cap back on. And then you can start tightening up the screws. I like to put on one first and just make sure that's nice and secure. Then you can put on. Position it how you like as you're writing it. Next we're going to put on the, the seat, the seat will be packaged up inside, you're just going to take the seat with the seat post, loosen it using a fastener, and then once it's loose, you can stick the seat tube right in, and put it right to whatever height you are, usually you like to have it right at your hip height for your riding position, and once you're ready, you can just tighten it like so. Finally, we're going to put the pedals on. Now we mentioned earlier that these are marked L and R, left and right pedals. Now the right pedal is like normal, so you're gonna, it's tightened by turning it to the right. Everybody knows the whole phrase, righty tighty lefty loosey. So we'll tighten this like so. You just start turning it and then turn it to the right. and just it takes a couple seconds for the thread to catch. And once it's secure, you can use the your multi-function toolkit, locate the 15 millimeter wrench, and then tighten it up a little bit more. Make sure that it's extra tight. You don't want this pedal falling off on you. Now, what's special about the left pedal is that it's left threaded, meaning that you turn it to the left, it's opposite now, so you turn it to the left to tighten it up. So it's not the same. So it just takes a couple seconds to catch and then you can just start tightening it up. again to make it sure that it's very tight, locate this wrench here. And make sure it's tight all the way. So now that everything is installed, we're going to make sure that before your first ride you want to make sure that everything else is secure and tightened. But you can turn it on. Now you're ready to ride. So you turn on the, the bike, hold the bike the power button down for two seconds and you'll see that the power comes on. Now the, this battery is already charged but before your first ride you're going to want to make sure that the battery is completely charged. And just a quick tutorial on how to remove the key, the battery. You're going to locate your key, insert it into the key socket, turn it to the left and the battery will pop out and you can just remove it easy like this. To, its, to charge it, you have a rubber gasket right here which you remove. So once you know that your battery is completely charged, you can reinstall it back into the bike. First you want to use the bottom part to make sure that the, the connectors are connected in. Put it in at an angle like this, and then you just pop it in. And you'll hear a little click sound. That, knows, that means it's secured. So to make sure that the motor and everything is running, you can turn on the bike, hold the power button for two seconds, and you can enter uh, the walk assist mode, which will show, which will allow you to push the bike at a, a, a leisure pace of 3.3 miles per hour. 
So put it on the side like this just to illustrate this. You hold the minus sign down for two seconds, and you see that the, the wheel is now moving at its own. Now these are still pedal assist bikes, so you're going to get the most power by using by still pedaling, but this will still show you that the motor and batteries are running. So thank you for watching along with us. I hope this instructional video was very helpful for you. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions on how to assemble your Espen electric bike. Thanks.